Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be speaking about my wallet sized survival kit. The purpose of making such a kit like this would be to make sure it's a uh, survival kit is always on you like when you all need it. You can't be carrying around like a 72 hour pack with you wherever you go. If you have stuff like this around with you all the time, you'll be that much more likely to be rescued by it. Now, it's in a trifold wallet. I got this idea from Johnny J. Rambo. He was the first person to develop this idea, and I thought it was a good idea. He keeps w one with him in his wallet, except his is a tin. I'll show you a link to the video on how to make this. It's made out of duct tape, which is very inexpensive, easy to get, easy to work with. Now, it is somewhat waterproof because of this flap that goes on top. And Inside, I keep a button compass, safety pins, which have multiple uses, can be used to mend clothing, um, make fishing hooks, a P38 can opener. Um, this would be useful in um, urban situation for opening up cans of food that you might find as we all know you can't eat food in a can if you don't have a can opener and it also has um can be used as a screwdriver or open up boxes anything like that good for day-to-day -day use and uh, which stuff in this kit if you make a kit like this you can use it every day you just replace them later like if you use a safety pin you can just get a new one and put it back in there use this stuff every day and you'll know how to use it and then it, when you do need it, it'll be there for you and you know what to do. A magnifying glass, which can be used to start a fire by concentrating sunlight. And it'll be a, good enough to combust any tinder and start a fire. A striker for some matches. The matches. A candle, which burns longer than a match, so... This is good to keep around for helping you start a fire. A water bag, just a regular small one, probably 12 ounce, which can be used for waterproofing anything. If you need to waterproof this kit, if you're wa wading through water or anything like that. A large sewing needle. This is heavy duty, so it can pierce through canvas and um, any leather. Good. If you use it in conjunction with um, fishing line that's in this kit, you can do much more heavy duty repairs than with just cotton thread and needles alone. A utility knife blade. These are razor sharp. Many uses for the cutting. You could use it like a scalpel and by sterilizing it. It has uh, some electrical tape around the edge to ensure it doesn't cut you up or anything in the kit. Two Ketadine MP1 MicroPure tablets for water. One tablet goes to one quart of water. And it can be used in conjunction with the bag, so you do have water, but it'll be in um the side effects are low and you won't be able to purify as much water if you had a one quart canteen with you. But it's something's better than nothing. Needles and thread, three needles assorted colors of thread. This can be used day to day if you rip your pants or anything like that, your your shirt. It's important to keep your clothes sewn up so you're protected from the elements. Fishing line. This is 12 pound test. can be used for heavy duty repairs with the sewing needle I showed you before and for catching food. Anything else. It doesn't have to be only for fishing. And Three small hooks can be also be used to catch birds. This is stainless steel wire. can be used to make snares or repairs, anything of that nature. Two larger fishing hooks. Piece of a hacksaw blade for making notches or cutting down branches into smaller pieces. And that's everything in my kit. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and perhaps it inspired you to make your own survival kit. By being prepared from day to day, we ensure our own survival. Make a kit like this. Make a kit. Make a kit. It doesn't. It could be at one of those Altoid style kit tins. But by making a kit and being prepared, taking a step towards that, we'll be prepared for day-to-day -day catastrophes that might happen. All th this stuff can be used for any part of your day. If you um, if you need a can, you need to open a can. Use this. If you need to sew any clothes together, you can use a needle and thread. And if you need um, and for some reason you don't have clean water by, just use that, and you could replace them later. You need to need a quick light, a fire, use the matches. When you practice with all this stuff, and when you really do need to use it, you'll be ready to use it. I hope you learned something today, and perhaps you'll make a video. If you do, you can post a reply to this and show everybody else what you've made. By sharing information, we, we all learn from each other. Alright. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.